Alrighty boys, welcome back to another tier list and um, I did one previously and you guys really really enjoyed it and you guys wanted more, I asked you guys if you wanted more, you said yes, you gave me a couple suggestions, I am going to do one for troops but I decided to do this one first and uh, this one's going to be kingdom bonuses or cultural bonuses, however you want to state it, it's the one that you pick uh, pretty much one of the first things you do pick whenever you start a new campaign, you pretty much uh, decide I guess what kind of culture you want to have right and there are six to choose from um, I have them listed right down here for you guys just so you guys can read it anytime during this video but we're quickly gonna go through them and then uh, you know like the last tier uh, list I'm gonna put them on the list I'm gonna explain them and we're gonna go from there all right so uh, let's start off so Azurai their bonus is caravans are 30% cheaper to build and 10% less trade penalty the Batanians, forests give 10% less speed penalty to parties. Empire, 20% construction speed bonus to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. And then we have Kazates, 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on campaign map. Then we have Sturgans, 20% less speed penalty from snow. And then Blandians, we have 20% more upgrade XP to troops from battle. Alrighty. So those are... Um, What's it called? All the bonuses. You already know which one's the best. We're going to get to it though. But uh, let's start it off. So first we have is Vlandians. Let's read it one more time. 20% more X, uh, upgrade XP to troops from battle. How good is that in my opinion? I would say... It's either a B or a C for me. I'm going to put it a B. I'm going to give it a B. I think... Um, What's it called? Um, having good, very good troops and just, you know, the ability to upgrade faster than other uh, kingdoms is actually not that bad. It's not A, it's nothing crazy. If it was maybe like 30% or 33%, maybe I'd give it an A. But um, a little 20% upgrade XP, cool. I think it's that's, you know, as best as you can get. But um, not best as you can get, but, you know, pretty much B. B worthy. It's okay. Next we have is, uh, let me actually put this down a little bit more. Next we have is Sturgians. So the Sturgians, they have 20% less speed penalty from snow. Now, um, here's how where I would put it. D. Now, uh, a lot of people know this, but I'm just going to say it. Uh, snow is only at the top part of the map, and obviously there's seasons, so sometimes the snow goes down. But I think it's so situational and um, once you're out of snow, which is a big part of the map most of the time, you know, obviously because seasons come along, I think it's very, very useless for all those other times. I think it's, you know, um, like like these other guys, they have, you know, Azurai has two different things that happen. Empire has two different things that happen. And it's just like, I feel like Sturgans, they should have had two different things that happened as well. You know, um, I spelled penalty wrong. But, um... If they had like a 20% less speed from snow and also another bonus for when they're out of snow, then maybe. But it's super situational. A big part of the, a big chunk of the map, most of the time, is not covered in snow. And the um, only way this would be good, again, if it was an upgrade from the 20%. If this was like a 40%, cool. You know what I mean? They, they, they would kind of rule over the, the, the top of the map. But, you know. Also, another thing is. Um, that I didn't mention in the other tier list video, but th the problem with Sturgans, and especially their area, is it's very linear. If you actually checked out, like, the paths you can go from get to, to get from town to town, it doesn't matter how fast you get there. It's always a linear path. You always catch people out at those choke points because there's so many, uh, you know, on the Sturgian map, like the Sturgian um, starting position on the map. And I think that's a very big problem. And uh, what would be very, very cool, now that I think about it, is if you gave Sturgeons the ability uh, to cross over the mountains in certain points that other, uh, what's it called, that other uh, kingdoms could not. That would be very, very cool. And I am going to make a video uh, later on uh, talking about stuff, like pretty much how I would fix kingdom bonuses in general. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that video. I think that's going to be a good video. I'm going to give some, you know, realistic things that they could do to actually fix the kingdom bonuses but the devs know it's a problem the players knows it's a problem everybody knows it's a problem Alrighty, uh why does it keep going down more 
Weird. All right, so then we have the uh, Empire. So the Empire has 20% construction speed bonus to town projects, wall repairs, and siege engines. Now, here, um, I'm going to give it a B for the sole reason uh, that it helps, uh, what do you call it, uh, the production of siege engines. Um, I think 20% con construction speed for town projects is garbage. It didn't, like, you don't even notice it. It's, it's useless, in my opinion. Wall repairs, again, unless unless the, the, the town or the castle is super contested and it goes back and forth every single time, then I guess it would kind of help. But these first two, 20% construction speed for town projects and wall repairs is meh. Absolute eh. But uh, in terms of the siege engine ones, it's kind of good. Um, if you are on the attack, um, you can build up your siege engines a little bit faster therefore saving you a lot of time uh, in that initial uh, sieging phase. So I would give it a C plus, but we're going to give it a B. We're, we're going to do it. Uh, next we have is the uh, Azurai, which is the caravans are 30% cheaper to build, 10% less trade penalty. I'm going to give it a C. Um, it's not good enough. It's just plainly not good enough. I think um, caravans being 30% cheaper... It's okay. So in the beginning, it might seem hard to make uh, like dinars or whatever, right? It might seem very hard for like new players and stuff. But once you get the hang of the game, that thirty percent cheaper caravans isn't anything really. If it was fifty percent, maybe it'll be like a big deal. You can, you can get them out faster. But it's it's not you know as a kingdom. Of, and then as, and it falls off completely late game because late game you have hundreds of thousand dinars. You know what I mean? And you have incomes of thousands. And it's just like, this is becomes useless late game. So, it doesn't hold up. The 10% less trade penalty, I guess. But that's probably why it's not a D. If it was literally just this, it would be a D. So, I guess this kind of brought it up to a C. But, yeah. Uh, next one we have is... The Cassettes. Bum, 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 bum. You knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. It, it, it is what it is. You knew it was coming. I think 10% extra speed bonus for horsemen on the entire campaign map is nuts. Movement speed is nuts. You know what I mean? Time is, is, is a big portion of the game and how fast you can do things, how fast you can get from place to place. The fact that a lot bigger, like bigger armies of the Kazates can catch smaller armies of, of any other kingdom is huge. You can catch out a lot uh, um, smaller armies almost all the time. And uh, just overall, you can escape if you need to escape a lot faster. You can get to places a lot faster. It, it, movement speed is very crucial to the game. And, and it's just a joke how um, Batanians and uh, the Sturgeons got like a, like a, I don't even know what you would call it, like a Dollar Tree or, or, you know what I mean? Like a Dollar Tree version of the Kazates one. Like, it, like it's just, it's unfortunate. Like the Kazates got a viable movement speed buff. And then Sturgeons and Batanians, they just... The developer just said, eh, whatever. Forget these guys. But um, there's nothing else to say about it. I think it's amazing. You know what I mean? Horsemen are already faster. And, and just giving a 10% extra bonus to that is just nuts. Now, last one we have is Batanians. And the Batanians are forest. Oh, I didn't place it. I didn't mean to place it yet. Forests give 10% less speed penalty to parties. If there was an F, I would actually give it to them. But listen... Um, well, I guess no. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I'll, I'll keep it at a D. I think um, a lot of people talk about the Sturgeon's speed penalty when it comes to snow. But people don't mention the forest penalty that comes to uh, Batanians. It's not good enough. It's, uh, forests slow you down completely. But, like, just because they slow you, like, they slow you down, like, I don't know how much. Like, what, like 30% around there? And instead, you're going to be slowed down 20%. Congratulations. Like, like, it's just, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. It, it, like what would make this viable again um if this would this would become viable if forest gave uh no speed penalty to parties if that was the uh um the kingdom bonus where forest gave no speed penalty to parties for the batanians they would be s tier that would be s tier are you kidding me you could escape anybody you could catch anybody it would be amazing it would be actually super viable and super good and it would literally go hand in hand with the kazate one like it would just be there um, plus the fact that Batan is the same thing with the Sturgeons. 
there's not forests all over the map. The Kaze region, no. The Azraeli uh, region, no. The, the the Sturgeon region, a little bit. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it's not viable. It's not viable. And um, looking at the list, uh, what can I change? Yeah, there's no A's. There's no A's, unfortunately. Like the Kazates dominate. Um, let's check out the B's. Can one of these B's be an A? Let's see. So we got the Vlandians, 20% upgrade troops. No, it's not good enough. If it was a bigger thing, maybe. Uh, plus any any other any other um, like the player can get um, stuff that upgrades their uh, XP to troops. So it's not good enough. It's not good enough in my opinion. So you can literally you can literally get the culture bonus from like two or two or three early parks in the game, and I think that's not good enough. Um, and then we have the Empire, which obviously has the 20% uh, construction speed to siege engines. Not even looking at the other parts, because those would make it a C. You know... I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put it down. Yeah, I'm going to put it down. I think it's 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 not good enough. I think it's situational. Um, the speed bonus to town projects, wall repairs, you don't notice it. It's, it's virtually unnoticeable. If you're going to leave a town, if you, if you queue up... To build a town project and then you leave the town to go do whatever you're not going to notice a 20 percent. it's not going to do the biggest world difference it's not going to do the biggest economy difference for you anyways and then the siege engine one it, it's it's a strong 20 percent, but again it's not good enough for a b but now i'll put it as c um now looking at azurai for the c do i agree with my choice now still agree with my choice i think caravans are 30 percent cheaper is garbage uh 10 less trade penalty is the only thing keeping it at a c and not a d and then in terms of the two uh bootleg uh <laughs> movement speed you know what i mean versions of the kazay one is yeah sturgeons and battalions are down bad but uh there it is that is my thoughts let me know your thoughts am i wrong am i right what do you guys think but um yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm going to make more of these. Obviously, a troop one is coming. These are kind of weird to make, the uh, the tier list. Like, there's not a lot of them on Bannerlord, so I, like, on Bannerlord. So I have to kind of make them myself. And, and it's it's a very weird process to make them. It's it's kind of, you know, meh, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this was kind of informative. You know what I mean? Kind of gave you an outlook. I'm going to give you guys more videos um, that has to do with bonuses. That one's coming up, too. But, um, like always, stay safe.